Hey everyone, Shea Bear 1000 here. It's hot, it's 92 degrees. Uh, so I'd come out and start the vet up. As you can see, I still didn't get the grass cut yet. I thought there was enough gas in the tractor, but I checked the monkey said it was out, and I was like, how's it out? She said, I don't know, maybe it evaporated. <laughs> she was the last one to drive it. <clears throat> So, a little story. <laughs> um, I said, oh, so, and she said, well, the battery's dead anyway. I said, what do you mean the battery's dead? Brandon, I just put the battery in there. Well, it's a Walmart battery. It's dead. It's dead. I said, won't do nothing? Won't click? Won't, well, what she said is, it won't gurgle or, or nothing. I said, you mean click? She said, yeah. It won't do anything. So, do you have a clutch pushed in? I think. Oh, okay. Hang on a second. Alright, so. Thought I heard my phone going off and my fire went out, so I went ahead and let my cigarette was in there. Anyway. I said, do you have a clutch pushed in? Oh, I think. I said, what do you mean you think? Well, I think I pushed the clutch in. I, I pushed a thing or something like that so I was like I don't know I, I'll check it later so and I kept it that that kind of thing bugs me so I did go out I pushed the clutch in fired right up for me how'd you do that I pushed the clutch in and started it see when I park it I set the brake. The brake and clutch is the same pedal, so I go ahead and set the brake on it. That way, when you go to get on it started, it's already depressed and ready to go. But, anyway, so, I was like, okay, so I went out and checked the gas. She was right. It's pretty much empty. There wouldn't have been enough to cut the grass, so, she's at the DMV right now, getting tags for the truck, well, the SUV, the Chevy and for the boat trailer so anyway let's go ahead and get in here and let's start this thing up man it's got to be 150 degrees in this car that's like i said i still haven't got this put back on yet because it started raining on me that day get this in here cycle the fuel pump a couple times I don't hear it running all right let's try it no it does that sometimes and I don't know why I think it's the uh, the vat system I was gonna bypass that and I, I never did yet so, uh, whoa. see, I just sat down on that stuff. I don't know why people do that, but usually when it does that, what the hell? Usually when it does that, I can arc the starter and it'll start. I need a new lift thing over there. So I just heard something go beep. I'm sure it's not the battery, but all right. Let me check this thing. All right, so I put it on the charger. It's reading low. I mean, it's in the green, but it's reading low. If I put it on boost, it goes clear over like that. Also, sometimes if you do this, it'll start right up. I don't know. Let's see. It's 
charging. <laughs> Alright, I'll be back with you. I'm gonna let this run a minute. Monkey just pulled in. Yeah, she smokes a little bit. Yay, yeah, what? Yeah. Got the sticker for the trailer, huh? Yeah. It's funny, guys, because boat's my name. <laughs> so we got the sticker on my birthday. But her birthday, the sticker for the trailer ran out, so we still couldn't use the boat if we wanted to. Right. Well, we we could have. We, we ran our other boat and our other trailer without any tag at all. Yeah for a couple years well <laughs> but it, it didn't have a motor so the trailer yeah the, the trailer it doesn't <laughs> the they told us as long as you didn't have a motor on the boat on the trailer you don't need no a sticker. on the boat you don't well, we no don't. on the boat you don't need a sticker you don't need to register the boat if it don't have an engine on it <laughs> okay the trailer always has to have a tag because it's on the road Done. But yeah, we never registered our other boat because we didn't have a gas motor. Well, we did, but we didn't take it out very often. But the trailer always has to be has to be we registered. We took it out. It's close. It wasn't too far away. So. No. Yeah, we took it out. Yeah. Anyways, it's done. Right. Have to put the sticker on. Yeah, we'll get it on there. I'll be back with you guys. Okay, so I unhooked that. Let's see if it'll start up again. Ugh. Timing's off on it. That's why it cranks like that. I think I'm one cog off when I change the distributor. When it warms up, here, let me come around here. When it warms up, it idles at 1,000 to 1,100 RPM, so I don't want to set the timing when it's idling that fast. So uh, the AIC control valve, I think, is bad. Well, I know it's loose because I can pull it out with my hands, so that's a vacuum leak there. And if it's not working, if it's sticking open, that'll cause it to idle kind of high, too. So, But I'm going to let this run for a little bit. I think I may have put two cycle gas in that. I can't remember. So anyway guys, I'm gonna let this run a little bit. Monkey's gonna get some gas. I'm gonna cut the grass here in a little bit and I'll be back with you. Stick around. Okay guys, let's start this up. That tire's flat. And let's pull it around front. That way I don't have to drag my air hose through the garage. Uh, hopefully it don't come off the bead. If it does, it's not a big deal.
it is, it just ran out. Okay, she's going to get more gas. So. Now I got that on my jeans, that stuff from inside the car. And... All right, I got the air tank filled up and yes, this tire's getting bad. It needs tires on it. I wish those would fit mine. I would put those on mine and put new ones on hers, but all right. Let me get some air in this tire. Alright. I fixed the leak in the rear. This side on the rear used to go flat before you could get the yard done. I just put some grease around the around the bead. That seemed to work. It doesn't lose any air now. Right, let's check this side. Yeah, it's a little low. Alright. Now. Something unplugged on the front of this thing. And my guess would be the headlights. Why? Why, guys? Alright. Okay. There's that. Yeah, see that? How far out that's turned? As opposed to that one? not that big of a deal okay all right now we gotta do she's eating her well it's a late lunch she's grabbing a bite to eat and then she's gonna go get gas so and then we'll cut this field down uh friend of mine daniel is out camping he's an ohio boy aka daca <laughs> That's what his YouTube, his YouTube used to be DACA. You guys might know him from that, but uh, yeah, he's out camping. Sounds like he's having a great time. That's good. So have fun, Daniel. Watch out for the banshees <laughs> and the Sam squanches and the ghosts. All right, guys, I'll be back with you. Okay, guys, I filled the lawnmower up. Monkey went and got me some gas, but see that orange right there? that orange right there I gotta be real careful here that is our uh, internet and cable so I gotta get them guys out here and have them rebury it I'm not gonna do it I can but I shouldn't have to do their job for them <laughs> I'm gonna go one notch higher than we usually mow because it's so high let's uh let's see if this thing will start Right, guys i'm gonna put you down i'm gonna finish this up i don't know if i'm gonna do the back yet or not and i'll be back with you guys hang tight okay guys so there we go we got the yard well what's left of it cut 
and I blew I blew it out into that way because this stuff this grass this is all seeds it'll help blow around it'll help re-germinate that she's talking about getting sod put down I don't know man that, awful expensive because you don't want to just do this section you're going to want to do the whole yard so yeah <sighs> got to get a weed eater running for that i've got several one runs but about half she said it would come on and shut off and she's right that's what it's doing is electric one so that could be a fix it video but anyway guys i want to say again thanks for watching appreciate it Hope all everyone is doing well. We got the love bugs out. They're going crazy. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll see you in the next one. Shea Bear, the Myth Man Legend. Gone for now. Bye bye, guys. Take care.